quick, easy way to jazz up your pre-made gum paste flowers when you're too lazy to make your own. Oh, that's right, we don't do glasses for that. Oh, yeah. No glasses. We're only two sets of my eyes. That's right. Hi, everybody. I'm Sharon Zambito of Sugar Ed Productions. And I'm Dominic Palazzolo of MakeYourOwnMolds.com. Welcome to my set, my world, my kingdom, my zit. <laughs> uh, I'll put my forehead against your <laughs> zit any day. Hi everybody, welcome. I'm Sharon Zambito. Today I have the honor of having Nicholas Lodge with me in my studio. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, it's not Nicholas Lodge. It's Duff Goldman. Oh no, I'm sorry. And he is so lucky to be here, because I don't let just anybody up in here. Stay tuned, we're coming back and we're going to rock your world. Let's get this party started. Let's get this party started. So we have a really great lesson prepared for you, and I don't know what to say. <laughs> I do that all the time. Um, jazzing up your pre-bought <laughs> oh. pre flowers. Damn it, man. I gotta say the whole thing right. We've created using Dominic's new load. <laughs> Sharon's going to show you a two tone painting technique along with a quick and easy way to jazz up your pre made flowers. <laughs> pre what? Pre you said it right, we were like pre it's really not rocket science. Pre-made gum paste flowers. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Pre-made flowers. Okay. Oh my God. Right, come I'm going to have an appendix on. attack. We were supposed to bang this one out. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us. I'm Sharon Zambito of Sugar Ed Productions. And I'm Dominic Palazzolo with MakeYourOwnMolds.com. We've come together today to share with you this beautiful cake that we've created using Dominic's new line of Fleur de Lis border molds. And Sharon's going to show you an amazing technique for two-tone painting and also a quick and easy way to jazz up your pre-made flowers. So we've got a great tutorial to share with you today. Let's get started. 